Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be talking about places, locations that you should not put your ATM machine in. And then I'm going to show you some locations I do recommend you guys putting your ATMs in. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so as you guys can see here on my screen, this looks like a fantastic location. As you can see, it, it is a laundromat. And generally, laundromats should produce somewhere between $300, $500, $600 of surcharge profit per month. But as you can see, this one right here looks like it's good. But in reality, if you actually zoom out, it's on a very, very busy street. But if you zoom out and you look down the road, there's actually a Royal Farms here. So that's a no-go because Royal Farms actually provides free ATM withdrawals to all of their customers. Uh, it doesn't matter what bank you use. Um, you can withdraw money for free. And if you happen to look down the road on the other side, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. There is a Wawa. So this, unfortunately, is not a very good location just because of the placement of this Wawa and this Royal Farms. Now the next location that we're actually going to look at is actually a nightclub. And nightclubs are generally good, um, but it also depends on how busy the nightclub is, how many days the nightclub is open out of the week. Do they do events, you know, every single day or is it just on the weekends? Does their bar accept credit cards? Are they cash only? All of these things um, you know, you know, they have something to do with how many transactions you're going to get. So if this club does accept credit cards, that's not a deal breaker because a lot of the times people still want to use cash at the, these nightclubs because, you know, their wife watches their financial statements or they, they look at their bank accounts. So sometimes people want to use your ATM to be anonymous. So that's not a deal breaker. But again, if you take a look, it's not in a really busy street. These are all parked cars right here. And there's one moving car over here. There's not much going on on this side. And across the street, there is a building for lease. Um, and I'm not too sure what this is. Looks like an industrial, um, you know, some kind of industrial place. But again, there is a Royal Farms. And Royal Farms, if they are next to your ATM, it's going to kill your ATM business. So, all of these Royal Farms places, don't touch them because you won't make money next to a Royal Farms with your ATM. Now, this next one was actually from my Facebook Marketplace Technique, where I pretty much put up an ad on Facebook Marketplace saying, if you need a free ATM, you know, I provide this service, this service, this service, and I can pay you X amount of surcharge. Um, and this lady actually hit me back. And this is her, you know, salon. It's called Empowered Hair Care Studio. And when you scroll through the Facebook page, I mean, it looks like she does this pretty frequently. It's not just a hobby, which is a good thing, right? Um, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can actually see that there are multiple different chairs. So this one has six on this side. And then I think on the other side of the salon, if I can find it, um, I saw that there are some other chairs here on the right hand side. So it looks like there should be a decent amount of business here, right? Um, because they have this many chairs, which means in theory, they should have eight or nine different, you know, people doing hair and collecting money. This is actually the outside of the salon. So, I mean, there is no sign on the top, right? Which is a little bit concerning. Um, and if you actually look to the right, it is an abandoned um, building and if you look to the left also abandoned so it's kind of weird and then if you also look down the block every single one of these is abandoned so not in a really good area and if it's abandoned like that you know people don't have money to spend because this is a very very low income area so for a place like this, I suggest that you guys stay far, far away. And it's a good thing that I actually didn't place my ATM in here because if you go to her Google or if you type her business into Google right here, it says permanently closed. So that is a deal breaker right there. hundred percent. Good thing I did not pick this place and put my ATM in this place because I a hundred percent would have lost my ATM or it would have been locked up in that business until, you know, I could recover it. Now, next I'm going to show you places that I do recommend that you guys put your ATMs in. 
and the first one we're going to start off with is this gas station right here now this gas station is good because it's on a really 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 busy street i actually drive this street sometimes and it's packed with traffic um, so gas stations are always good because most gas stations they will have lottery or they you know they offer ebt services so a lot of people go in there they use their ebt card and a lot of people have ebt cash and if you don't know what that is it's pretty much food stamps um and sometimes if you have ebt cash you can actually withdraw cash from that ebt card meaning if you're on food stamps and you have this you can withdraw cash which means they're going to pay the surcharge or the government's going to pay the surcharge and that gets put into my pocket so i love that now what i recommend you guys do with some of these gas stations are actually what this gas station has and this is a slam dunk home run location man if you can zoom in right here it actually has an atm with an atm enclosure and i highly recommend that especially if you're in sort of a low income uh sketchy kind of neighborhood which this one is in an okay neighborhood um and you can see that they actually have a bingo hall right next door and this thing is cash only it's packed with senior citizens so there's a lot of people who actually go to that bingo hall and they're open i believe seven days a week so this is hands down a fantastic location i don't own this one personally but the guy who owns this probably makes anywhere from 1500 to 2000 dollars per month with this one just because of that bingo hall next door and as you guys can see like always we want to see a lot of traffic and the atm enclosures that i'm talking about i'll show you right here and it's this one right here or something similar to that i know gorilla atm makes them and it's red um it's this one right here gorilla atm security enclosure so if you're interested um they they got them right here gorilla atm security.com uh, they don't sponsor this video or anything but you know i have heard very good things about these guys and i might give them a try myself so some of the lessons to learn from this video is make sure your atm is in a high traffic location make sure there's no free atms next to it like royal farms or like wawa and three is to make sure there's a high cash demand. Now, for those of you who do not know, I am giving away a Gen Mega 2500 ATM machine like this one right here. And if you haven't seen my last video on how to enter that giveaway, make sure you go ahead and check that out because I only have 15 spots left. So that's all for this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.